Principles of Bioproduct Separation, Module 14, Ancillary Operations, Segment 2, Solvent Recovery. With me, Yusuf from School of Life Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about water quality. In this segment, we will discuss about solvent recovery. Many separations produce mixtures of water and organic solvents. For example, some water dissolves in the organic solvents used during extraction and some solvents dissolve in the water of these spent streams. Other examples include the addition of organic solvents to facilitate precipitation or crystallization and the use of mixed solvent as eluents for adsorption and chromatography. Since large quantities of solvents are involved, the solvents cannot be disregarded Carded directly to the environment. Consequently, they must be eliminated from any waste stream. Moreover, because the solvents are relatively expensive, an economic advantage can be gained by recovery and recycle. The recovery can be as simple as batch distillation. The solvent is vaporized from the feet and condensed for recycle. The residual non-volatile bottoms are treated by a suitable method of waste disposal. Such a batch distillation is rarely adequate, and some degree of fractionation is usually required to upgrade the solvents to a usable purity for processing. When fractionation is required, conventional distillation is the common choice. Operations may be batch or continuous. There are three types of multi-stage distillation columns, as shown in the figure. First, stripping column. You remove small amount of volatile solvents from aqueous solution. Second, rectifying column. You remove small amount of water from a volatile solvent. Third, fractional column. It combine stripping and rectifying column. For the next segment, we will discuss about waste disposal. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.